this video I'm going to show you how I created this scene from The Mandalorian, and also how you can turn 2D images into 3D animation. I'll add timestamps in the description below so you can easily follow along. The softwares I used to achieve this effect was GIMP, FSPY, Blender 2.82, and DaVinci Resolve, which all are free to download. This effect is based on four steps. First, you need to capture your still image you want to animate. Then, you must separate the image into different layers so we can apply it as textures on 3D geometry. The third step is to camera match the image so we can apply 3D geometry. And the last step is camera projection, where we UV project the different layers from the initial image onto 3D geometry. Let's begin. So the first step is to isolate the characters, and as you can see, I'm using pen tool, and then I'm just adding some light feather on the edges. The characters closest to the camera are blocking the Mandalorians farther away, so to solve this, I'm just using a clone brush to clean up the image. When the characters are done, it's time to move on to the next layer. Now it's time to isolate the section closest to the camera, and I'm also creating a clean plate, so I'm just using the clone brush to remove the characters. The value on the clone brush shouldn't be too low because the image can get quite messy, so make sure to experiment before you start creating the clean plate. As you can see, we have successfully isolated the characters and created a clean plate. Now it's time to create the corridor behind this section. So here I'm just using uh, parts of the corridor and extended it to create a clean plate. Next step is to create a layer for the ground. So here I'm just using a clone brush again to fill in. The next step is to isolate the pillars in this corridor. When you're done isolating the pillars, it's time to create another layer. Um, which is going to become a clean plate for the walls in the corridor. Here I'm just using a clone brush to smooth out the edges. And the next step is to just create a clean plate for the ceiling. Before we export the layers from GIMP, I'm just going to isolate the floor and the wall farthest away from the camera. Before we move to Blender, we're going to use a software called FSPY, and uh, this is completely free. This program creates a plane by using different points in the image. So as you can see, I'm just importing the image, and then I'm moving the X and Y axis to create a 3D plane. When you're happy with the result, you can just export this camera information. To be able to import this camera data from FSPY, you need to download the FSPY plugin for Blender, and I'll add it in the description down below. So the next step is to jump in the Blender, and here I'm importing the FSPY camera, and I'm just aligning the camera to the grid of the floor. And the next step is to add a ground plane, which is gonna act as floor, and I'm just extruding it and creating a wall furthest away from the camera. The next step is to add a ceiling and then fill in the sides of the corridor. When you have a rough geometry of the corridor, you can isolate the floor and the wall furthest away. And make sure to subdivide the object before adding UV projection. The next step is to create a UV and project from U. And here I'm just importing the layer of the floor. 
and uh, if your results is a bit uh, messy, try to subdivide the mesh before adding the UV. And to be able to see the image, you need to add a texture to the object. Here I'm just doing some tweakings because uh, the mesh was a bit to the left side of the image. The next step is to UV project the rest of the corridor. So I'm just going to select the walls and the ceiling and then import the right texture. And here I'm just tweaking and putting it into the right place. So it's looking good. Next step is to model the geometry for the pillars of the corridor. And here I'm just eyeballing where the pillars should be. When adding uh, objects to the scene, make sure to have all the layers visible because you will see soon that these uh, pillars are way too big for the rest of the scene. So to solve this, I'm just uh, scaling it down and moving it towards the camera. and I'm just adjusting it. Now it's time to add the images for the pillars. So I'm just using UV project from you and make sure to project from the camera view. Then you just repeat this for all the pillars in the scene. And make sure to subdivide. When all the pillars are done, it's time to move on to the next object, and this is going to be the walls closest to the camera. And here I'm just using uh, a cube and then extruding the sides to create the geometry. Now it's time to import the characters and uh, I'm going to import them by using images as planes. Here I'm just tweaking the shading settings 
to get the right shading and also adding lights so you can see the characters better. And to have more realism I'm gonna tweak the angles of the characters. So it's more of a 45 degree angle in the corridor. Make sure to light the characters. The next step is to create lasers from the stormtroopers at the end of the corridor. So I'm just importing an atmosphere and stretching it out to the right shape. It's time to add the shading uh, to the laser and make sure that the emission is checked under the render settings when using Eevee. During this process I thought that the corridor looked quite dull so I added some uh, extra panels that would act as uh, light panels in the corridor. And then I'm just duplicating them and moving them to the other side. Then I'm adding just a emission shader. The next step is to add some light panels in the ceiling and I'm just using simple geometry to create these. To achieve a more realistic look, I'm going to add depth of field to the camera and to get the right focus, I'm just going to add an empty and link the camera to it. Depth of field and also the motion blur hides the fact that the textures are really low res because of the screenshot. When we're happy with the focus, it's time to animate the camera. And I'm just adding some simple rotations and also uh, some uh, camera shake at the end. The corridor is complete, but I'm just adding some extra pipes uh, at the floor and the ceiling of the corridor. And this adds some extra geometry and creates a more 3D look. The last step is to add a uh, title for the scene. So I'm just using a SVG that I downloaded online. And this particular one had some issues with the D and the R. So I'm just uh, using um, And now we're done. 